just a, a culmination of so many things, right? So for this moment of just Ellie's love of space, of Joel wanting to make this like moment just beautiful for her, for Walkman. And this idea that Ellie sometimes can has such a strong imagination and can go into her own head. Wow. Actually started with the comic book, the American Dreams comic book. So when she looked at the Raja's arcade, she was able to picture it with like children running around. It's like the idea that she can, she's so in love with the old world that um, she does whatever she can to kind of live in it. Happy birthday, kiddo. And that's we got the idea to really go in her head and make you feel yes. as if she's traveling to space. Take it. There is such a unique nervousness, anticipation, and joy um, that comes with a parent giving their kid, trying to give their kid the perfect gift. Right. And if they like it, it's the best feeling in the world. And if they don't, it's <laughs> <a> terrible. <laughs> It'll be worth it. Close your eyes. And um, for people familiar with the first game, uh, the the DLC of Left Behind, there's a, a big parallel here for when Riley tells Ellie, close your eyes. <laughs> and she makes her picture this arcade game. And it's like as if these two people just know Ellie so well of what would make the perfect gift for her. Again, our, our lighting team did such an awesome, because there's so much that needs to be conveyed here with just lighting. And so they're animating these lights um, and then changing the reflection on the glass. There's a lot of tech here, a lot of careful crafting to get this moment. I also love that we're just with Ellie in this moment, you know? It's like you just need Gustavo to do this little riff. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> and it takes it over the top. Oh, I yes. just, the scene is, is so beautiful, but so sad to me. Just because it's, because I, I know what's coming. And just seeing Joel trying so hard to reconnect and regrow this relationship with Ellie again. Um, you can see his guilt. You can feel at least shame. It's like, uh, but... Yeah, I watch it and I think it's such a beautiful scene, but there's that level underneath it that's heartbreaking to me. <laughs> it was really important for us to have um, these happy memories um, that are obviously mixed with like some negative feelings she has about Joel and the choices that he's made. But ultimately, I, I believe she, the, the, the positive, the happy memories overwhelm the negative. Well, I think Ellie is, is so driven by her own shame and guilt. And you need to know why. And it's because there was something worth saving. There was something, there was a true loss here. And, and part of that is her own decision to emotionally protect herself by distancing herself from Joel. But it had a cost. <laughs> 